think my body's shutting down. Oh. Hey, Radiant Church, Pastor Sean here, and I am excited to invite you to our upcoming fall series called Red Hot. This is an unfiltered time with Pastor Lee where you can ask your hot questions and get immediate responses. Now, he's never seen these questions until he sees them right there in the moment. Now, to give you an example of what this could be like, I'm gonna be asking Pastor Preston, our Portage student pastor, uh, questions for the first time. But to make it a little different, I'm gonna do it while we're eating spicy chicken wings. So the hotter the question, the hotter the wings. Let's get started. Pastor Preston. Hello. Thanks for being here, man. Thanks oh, for joining us. It's my pleasure. There's nowhere else I'd rather be at 2.30 on, on a Tuesday. Yeah, come on, man. Uh, so I gotta ask you first right away, how are you around spicy food? Uh, I enjoy spice, I do. Uh, doesn't sit well with me. I do enjoy spice though. Well, let's see if you still enjoy spice after this, right? Yeah, that's fine. fine. Yeah, that's good. Fine? Yeah. yeah. So first question I want to ask you. So many people might not know this, but you're actually missing your middle right finger. Um, so I'd love to hear, uh, for tell everybody, yeah. how'd you actually lose it? Yeah. And how have you had to adjust to eating uh, with not having to Yeah, eat? it's a good question. So when I was two years old, I, um, my brother and I were playing in a garage with an exercise bike, spinning the pedals, and I guess I tried grabbing it or something, my hand slipped off and went around kind of the gear and the chain. Had to cut it off, sew it up. It's all I've ever known. Yeah. I haven't really had to adjust how I yeah. eat. Um, so what's the best story you've told someone on how you actually lost it? Told some people I got in a knife fight, but I'm not that cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that kind of testimony. <laughs> All right, doing good so far? So far, in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh gosh. This one jumps up just a little bit. Yeah. <sighs> mm. A little sweet, lemony. All right, <clears throat> Preston, as someone who prides themselves in a lover of all things gear, yeah. what is the best backpack you have ever owned, and what's one feature it has that makes it stand out above the rest? Wow, you know me so well. I would say my all-time favorite backpack is an 18-liter REI backpack. My favorite feature on it <laughs> probably was the water reservoir, but I literally never used it for a water reservoir. That was where I put all my important stuff. Tell me about your backpack, how do you? I mean, uh, it's the backpack that you actually told yeah. me to get, <laughs> and it's right. changed my life. Come on! So, I mean, it's- I wish water. we had a picture of your old one, dude. That thing was trash. It was, I was made fun of a lot. <laughs> yeah. My wife actually told me to talk to you about how to get a better backpack. Thank you, Natasha, I appreciate you. So, all right, how you doing? This one, that one kind of grew, grew a little bit a as little we were bit. talking, yeah. I feel it on my lips. Yeah, okay. This is probably a big jump, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little more sadistic. Yeah. Oh yeah, was it habanero? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just battery acid, actually. That's bad. Reminds me. Oh gosh, trader. <laughs> just ask your question. One question I would like to ask you, as the student pastor here, and you've been here for. How many years now? Five. Five years. What's the main issue you face in the week-to-week -week pastoring of Gen Z? And how has it evolved from the issues that maybe we have dealt with as millennials? I don't know how to answer that question right now. <laughs> the air in my mouth yeah. is actually feeling great. It is incredible how heat affects your brain waves. <laughs> Man, my first thought is technology. Um, oof. Uh, yeah, technology, it's tough. That's all I can say. <laughs> it's bad, it's real bad. Spoken like an expert. Yeah, I would say. true, uh, true Gen Z expert. Yeah. You went from 5% to 7% to 80%. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely- Who decided this? Uh, you know, uh, uh, my team thought that this was a good 
good progression. And honestly, on paper, it seems like a good progression. Right now, sitting in this chair. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> I think I made some mistakes. All right, let's go ahead and hit this last one. So, so we put one dab on the last wing. Oh, you just straight from the middle, not from the side, like normal people eat wings. <laughs> Cheers, man. My nose is running. <laughs> My nose is dripping. All right, approach the summit here. Your brain's on fire. One last question I have for you as a lover of the word, lover <laughs> of Bibles, pastor, can you name in order all 66 books of the Bible? I cannot. How far do you think you can get? I mean, I can get, let's see, in this moment. Okay, Janet. <sighs> <coughs> I look probably emotional. I'm not. Genesis. <laughs> Dude, it hurts so bad. How far do you think you could get? Um, I think I could get farther than Genesis. I got it in my nose. It's in my nose. <laughs> I can't breathe right now. All right. We can end it right there, Please. man. You did it. Thanks for joining us, man. It was good to have you My here. pleasure. All right, we will see you soon. Coming up, our Red Hot series, do not miss it. Yes. Please come. Make this worth it. <laughs> Please. We'd Invite your friends. We'd love to see you there. It'd be so fun. We'll see you there. <laughs>